four days left until the spookiest day of the year. And if you really want to spook your friends, Steve Spangler has you covered in today's Science Minute. So let's say you're one of those people that don't like it when they prick your finger, right, for the little test. Don't have to worry about it anymore. They've come up with a new liquid. Look at this. Special liquid that you just spray on your hands like this. Oh, I can actually feel it acting right now. Look at this. It brings the blood right to the surface. That's all you need. Ready? You just take a regular piece of paper like this. Watch this. Oh! <laughs> Not true. It's Halloween. Of course it's your Halloween science time. Look at this. Uh, it's a special paper that actually changes color depending on the pH of the liquid. When I say the pH, the, if it's an acid or a base. So there's no special liquid. The special liquid's this, household ammonia. There is a base. Now the opposite of the base is an acid. So vinegar would be the opposite. In this particular case, we're using ammonia. So it's perfect. Now carbon dioxide from your voice, uh, from your voice, from your breath is an acid. So when you blow on it here like this, that carbon dioxide now changes it back and so it will disappear, so this will disappear. So in order to make this happen, of course, all I did was spray it on here. So a regular piece of goldenrod paper has a special indicator inside that will just change color depending on if there's an acid or a base. Now, not all goldenrod paper works, so you're gonna need to test your goldenrod paper which means you maybe have to go to the store and just kind of squirt it. Nah, there's got to be a better way to do that. Find goldenrod paper that will change color. Look at this, and there it is. So now I've got a cool color change. All you have to do is come up with this great story that you found a way to be able to do it. When you slap it like that, it looks absolutely fantastic. You know it's Halloween. I'm going to come up with this stuff. I'm Steve Spangler, and this is your Spooky Science Minute. Pretty tricky.